Magnetic induction, or Qi chargers, let you just plonk down your phone on a little pad to get juiced up, which is really cool, way better than wires. But they only work over very short distances and they need to be correctly aligned for optimal efficiency. Well, what if I told you that there's a better way? What if I told you that this speaker right here and these trains going around me are all being powered by that space agey looking light fixture up there? That there is the prototype of Y Charge's long range wireless power delivery system. And holy shit, is this thing ever cool! Cable Mods Configurator Service makes it easy to customize and order cables for your rig. And customers in Europe now have their own configurator where Cable Mod handles all duties, import taxes, and documentation. Check it out at the link below. So this right here is the transmitter. And although I guess technically it could work if we just plugged it in while I'm holding it, I definitely get tired of hauling it around. And also, this is the only prototype in existence that can deliver the amount of power that we are going to need today. So if I dropped it, that would be pretty tragic. I wouldn't do that. Deploying the transmitter is surprisingly simple if you have a drop ceiling. So this prototype is actually held in place by these magnets. There's a, oh, <laughs> and zip ties. Uh, this is for quick and easy testing, but production models should have more permanent fixtures. Once it's secured, all we need to do is plug it into a regular DC power source. Okay, so this light right here is just a regular light. And then this one around the rim is more of a status indicator. So while it's booting up, it blinks blue. And then once it's green, it means that it's actually good to go. The really cool tech though, is actually this black bit in the middle, which is an infrared window behind which is an IR transmitter. And then this right here is also an infrared window. And behind that is a receiver. So if I just put this, let's say for example, right here, and it does need line of sight, give it a second. So if I just take this phone and place it, let's say right here on my ladder, and boom, it's charging. And if you look up here, the status indicator changes to solid blue. But how is it doing that? From up top, the transmitter is actually projecting some very high energy infrared light. And the receiver is basically like a solar panel. So there's a special photovoltaic cell in here that is tuned to the infrared beam that the transmitter is outputting. And now I know what you guys are thinking. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> is this entire room being blasted with infrared radiation right about now? Am I gonna turn into like a mutant? More importantly, will my TV remote stop working? The answer is no, not at all. So the receiver has a very specific signature that the transmitter looks for. And when it sees it, it shoots out a very thin IR beam, basically like a laser directly at the receiver, which is pretty cool. But what makes it loads better is the transmitter's ability to track a moving receiver. So I thought that this demo was smoke and mirrors when I first saw it back at Computex last year. But these trains right here can be fully powered by the transmitter up in the ceiling, giving you some idea of how quickly your phone or your other device could be moving around the room and still be powered and or charging. And to prove that the trains have no batteries, the instant the beam is broken, the trains stop. Once line of sight has been restored, it just takes a second or two, and then power transmission will resume. This means that there's no way for a person or like your eyes or something to be exposed to the high energy beam. And the FDA and other international safety regulators have already given it the seal of approval. 
Plus, you get to feel like a magician. Okay, so what you're probably wondering now, though, is how much power can it actually deliver? Well, Y-Charge brought two different models here. There's this smaller one that's aimed more at, like, Internet of Things applications. This can deliver about one watt while having a smaller footprint, making it a little more subtle. Then there's the larger one that we put on the ceiling that can do up to three watts. So this is one of their receivers hooked up to a speaker. It's on. Not bad. But if we try to go too high, it conks out a little bit. Now let's hook up a larger receiver that they've got here. This one does one and a half watts and see how much louder we can go. Not bad. That's too shy of max volume. But, I mean, if we're being entirely honest here, that's still not a whole ton of power. And like, if I wanted to charge my phone, or heaven forbid, a tablet, uh, a watt and a half isn't a ton, and putting a case like this on it is probably not that practical. Fortunately, this guy is more of a proof of concept, and why Charge's first commercial product makes a lot more sense. So this guy right here is a Qi charger with regular USB on the underside that can be placed anywhere in the room and still receive power. So for something like a coffee shop, they could offer charging at their tables without running cords to every single one of them. And that way, if someone wants to uh, relocate the table to sit with their friends, it's totally not a big deal. They would just kind of go like that and bippity boppity wham! It is wirelessly charging. What makes it really well integrated is the fact that it sits actually in the table like this. Like obviously we're not gonna drill a big hole in our table in order to do that right now. And the fact that it has a battery inside it. So that acts as a buffer. So that battery can trickle charge all day and all night. And then when someone plugs in or puts their phone down on the pad, it'll be able to charge at more than just, you know, three quarters of a watt. And it won't matter if somebody, you know, is in the middle of a really, really, you know, fascinating conversation and blocks the beam for a little while. And this is just the beginning. I'm really excited to see where this tech is going. I mean, just how much power will they be able to get out of these systems in the future? Could receivers just be built right into your phone or tablet and a little with a little, you know, window right there? I mean, that would allow your device to trickle charge all day long if you're in range of a transmitter. Maybe this will finally be the solution to what has been the biggest problem with smartphones. Those pesky headphone jacks. No, not those. Battery life. Thermaltake's View 37 mid-tower case features an enlarged, transparent, gullwing window panel design and remarkable expansion with support for up to EATX motherboards and multiple drive bays. It's got a fully modular design, it supports vertical and horizontal radiator placement, and it comes with two pre-installed Ring 14 LED fans. Or you can actually get the full RGB variant. Check it out today at the link below to learn more. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you clearly hate technology and you're on the wrong channel. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Just kidding, it's still prototypes. You can't buy it yet, but at some point you will. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. That this speaker right here and these trains running around me bloody